Hey guys, how are you doing? Hello everyone, my name is Cheese and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be reacting to Demon Slayer Season 2 Episode 10. This is also the third episode of the Entertainment District arc, just to keep it clear. And yeah, it, it's already super exciting. The previous episode was so funny. And we got to know Uzui a little bit better. We discovered that he has three wives who are currently undercover. And we have Tanjiro, Inosuke and Zenitsu also undercover to find those three wives and see how they are doing. We already discovered that one of them is captured, in fact, by one of the demons or the demon. I don't know how many demons are out there. But yeah, it's a great start of this arc. And yeah, I'm just curious to see how this is gonna continue. So without further ado, let's get right into the episode. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one, go. Edo Yoshimara. Alright, we're starting off in black and white. Demon. Ah, I think she's gone. <laughs> yep, she gone. All right, okay. <laughs> that was an interesting intro. But yeah, there was like, um, I suspected, I thought that one of those Oiran would be a demon in disguise. <laughs> I love those three on the cover, it was so funny. Yeah, this is also something I wondered in a previous episode. What did they do with Nezuko? I might have missed something. Maybe they did show, but I don't know. What are you? Okay, back in color. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes just like simple transitions. It looks so cool. Oh, damn. We're back here. Okay, switching to Zainsu. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, I thought you were going to be the best number one Oiran. <laughs> Well, okay, how did that happen? Is that not important? <laughs> we have a crit. <laughs> wow, his good ears are so useful. And Inosuke always has like good intuition, right? Like he always senses something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh. They disappeared. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> he was not supposed to let his voice out, but yeah, he's not even trying to hide it anymore. Are you okay? Just don't let her know that you sent something. Just act normal. Upper rank? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> really pointing out that hair color. <laughs> she treats these little girls oh my gosh you see from bleeding oh my god oh. when it comes to girls they need to really kind of muster up his courage you know he, he gets some of his guts I mean, he's standing next to probably an upper rank demon. All right, back to Tanjiro. Still all peaceful here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's completely in his element, isn't he? <laughs> she wants to drink her tea in peace. That his like focus position. <laughs> She's completely in shock. Oh my gosh, the way we just shift from one house to the other. I kind of saw that coming, but... <sighs> okay, day two. the same person though I mean her voice sounds a little bit different okay never mind the voice is the same
gum. Well, she's like. Uzi like watching from outside though, isn't he keeping watch? <gasps> Upper six! Oh my gosh, Jane was right. Oh, she's not gonna e even eat her. Oh. Damn, she just dropped her. So that's also probably what happened to the other lady. Like earlier this episode. And yeah, they thought that it was a suicide. But yeah, basically she just dropped them. Oh my god! He's giving her a warning, basically. Ducky? It's like her real demon name. Seven Hashira? Damn! Yeah, she's been around for a long time then, I think. Oh my god. Ooh, back to this moment. So this is a different one then, right? Hmm. Mm, she can change face so fast. I'm just a little bit confused. Is there just like more of this Warabi Hime in person? Or are we just shifting back and forth in time? Oh my gosh, she knows. Okay. Okay, but she still doesn't see him as a threat.
That was already the episode? Oh my god. For some reason this felt so short. Maybe because we really shifted many times quickly from one house to the other, right? And then from like a serious moment to more happy, peaceful moments. Like we sh there was a lot of shift between scenes. So yeah, maybe that's why this episode felt short. But now we clearly know what kind of demon we have to deal with. But like I said, I'm just, I was just a bit confused. Maybe because we also shifted from so many scenes. That's why I felt like, are there more of her? Of the demon? Or was it just like shifting back and forth in time? That's something that confused me a little bit. I'm actually thinking the second, that there's actually just one demon that also has only like one far, um, one physical form but that we shifted like back and forth in time, you know? These girls are so cute. <laughs> yes. Thanks, I'm giving you props this time. Mm-hmm. They're so sweet, but at the same time so sad to hear that, you know? They didn't, they did not, oh my gosh. Christmas. <laughs> this pose, oh my gosh. Oh my god, even Giyu showed up! <laughs> oh my gosh, they really did that for me, didn't they? Like, Giyu doesn't even play a role in this whole art, but they still wanted to show him. <laughs> oh, with the bread inside a mouth. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, but that transition though, like from that sudden like cliffhanger to this Christmas extra, oh my goodness. Anyway, so this was episode 3 of the Entertainment District arc and we got like fully introduced to this demon by the human she's called as Warabihime, right? And her demon name was something like Daki? I believe, if I remember correctly, that's what Muzan called her at least. And that's the demon we're dealing with. So she's also one of the upper six. So she's probably around the same level as Akaza. Which means that she's crazy strong, right? We already knew how strong Akaza is. We know how strong the upper six demons are. 
I don't know like what their exact ranking is, but man, they're 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 strong. So she's gonna be a very tough opponent as well. So for Zayn to to go against her just to defend the little girl, that already must take so much courage, you know. So I'm I'm proud of Zayn in this episode, and it was just funny to see that Zayn and Inosuke already both got like actually quite a lot of action going on, you know. They're already discovering a lot of things about demon, while Tanjiro is just doing chores. And it's all peaceful in his house, you know. There, there wasn't much going on there, so that was also weird because there are a lot of like shifts between houses. So, like especially when we shifted towards Tanjiro's house and then back to other houses, it was very much like from serious to lighthearted and a bit comedic, maybe back to serious, you know. So I actually would have preferred if they kept like to focus longer on certain houses and then shift to other houses I think that's how I would have probably paced this episode maybe to let it flow a bit better because we had this moment where Zayn to try to stop Barabihime from hurting that little girl then we shifted to our Tanjiro for like a random scene and then we had a little bit of focus on Daki and we had her interaction with Muzan and then we shifted back to that scene with Zaitsu you know so it was a bit a bit confusing that's why I wasn't sure whether there was just like one demon or two demons or was that like a flashback or flash forward I wasn't really sure but nonetheless it, it's explained a lot you know like she is a very powerful demon she also got rid of a lot of girls and women in these courthouses and we had these um, madams of the courthouses who tried to stop her and kind of had a feeling that she wasn't human as the one woman was explaining you know she had heard the story from her grandmother about this one Oiran that just hadn't changed you know her grandma probably thought that they were like all different people who were behaving the same way and had the same habits but the madam of the house, she actually thought that that could possibly all be the same person, you know? Which was true, you know? The, so the, the Oiran her grandmother saw was probably just the Warabihime, the demon, who hasn't changed in all these years. So that's why she thought it was weird and thought like, maybe you're not human. And then, yeah, she was dead. And it also explains why all these women were laying dead on the ground people were assuming that they jumped off the window that it was all suicide but it was basically just Warabihime or Daki I don't know what to call her I, I, maybe Daki that's shorter but she just doesn't find them worth eating because they're already old they don't taste good anymore they won't give them much power either so they just she just drops them to make it seem like suicide but still kill them. So yeah, we already discovered a lot in this episode. And we even had this chase scene of Inosuke going off the demon as well. It was during daylight. So he actually had a really good chance of fighting her and maybe getting a hit. But then that drunk guy got in the way. So that was unfortunate. And I think Inosuke's cover might have been blown as well. <laughs> I mean, he was just shouting as his usual husky voice throughout the whole house and even like running around like a guy you know <laughs> oh man i don't know how it's gonna continue i also don't know what happened to makio in the end she disappeared together with warabihime i know i keep switching names but yeah we don't know what happened to her eventually and we still haven't seen anything from the other wives either we even haven't seen uzu in this episode so we'll see this episode was at least like really focusing on the demon as an introduction. So overall it was still a very cool episode. But we can see that it's getting more serious now, right? Like the previous episode was really funny, really focused on comedy. While this episode got a lot more serious. We already saw a few people dead as well. So I think from now onwards it's also gonna get a lot more intense. So yeah, this was my reaction to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. 
And if you can see my other reaction videos, please check out my channel and subscribe. So in any case, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.